faces a great tailor of stories. Stories full of mysteries, stories of disappointment, stories of jubilation, stories of pain. One such face was of Matthias. The expression, the lines on his face told the story of his disappointment, dejection and an ache of sunset when I first met him. Matthias was a man in his autumn of his life, a hard-working, respectable, sincere, honest man with an equally wonderful wife, Martha. For the neighbor, they presented the picture of a perfect couple, happy, prosperous in their own little way. But the disappointment was from life fate. The biological clock of Martha was ticking, yet they had no children of their own. From medical treatment to prayer, for blessing they had left no stones unturned. Actually, I remember when she was in her early 40s, the prayers was answered and they were blessed with a beautiful child, a daughter who as they say had come to this world smiling. Hence she was named Muskan because she was the only reason for them to smile. Muskan, light of the life of Matthias, illumined everyone around her. The most charming smile could even melt the stone of her heart. Her parents would beam with love and pride on every little antics of the child, but their time short-lived. The family was surrounded by the bitter gloom with the sudden demise of Martha. A very brief bout of fever snatched the loving wife and mother away from her family. The loss of his soulmate gave such a blow to Matthias that he was inclined towards losing himself in the pain that engaging himself in bringing up his daughter. The little bundle of joy was just a year old when she lost her mother to fate. With her father who provided her with food, but didn't care to see whether she ate it or not. A father who provided her with clothes, but didn't check whether she wore it or not. Provided fees, books, copies, pencils, but never bothered about her learning. (laughs) 
Muskan, the little girl, the wonder baby with a charming smile grew up but lost somewhere in the crowd. She was quiet, isolated, shy and so interested in nothing. The teachers and her friends observed that the girl would spend her time staring blankly at nothing. Everyone tried their best to bring a smile on the face of Muskan, but the effort seemed futile. And of course, why not? A child whose father is drowned in his own sorrow, who takes refuge in bottles and glasses, who does not see the pain in his daughter's eye, what can anyone expect from her? And there was one day, Muskan was sitting all alone in the meadows, gazing at the tree with eyes full of tears. Suddenly, I sit here? Okay. Friends? What happened? Are you crying? Why? Why are you crying? Tell me, why are you crying? Did someone scold you? Tell me. Uskan, come on, tell me. Stop crying now, stop weeping. Tell me, dear, what happened? Come on, tell me. Teacher, everyone have their mother, even the birds and insects and plants, but I don't have. I want to smile, I want to be happy, but every time I try to do that, I just can't do it. There is no one with whom I can share my feelings, no lap where I can put my head. When I feel sleepy, there is no hand which wipes my tears out. No one who would feed me my meals with loving words and smiling face. Ma'am, I don't have my mother. Can you feel this breath? Oh, it's so nice. I feel like as if someone is touching me with a soft hand, right? Hmm. I feel very sleepy now. I want to sleep on this soft grass now. Now I want to sleep. I want to keep my head on the lap of this green grass. Don't you want to? Now I am very hungry now. What do you have in your tiffin box? Apple? Mango? Wow! Can I have it? Okay, tell me. Where did this apple come from? Nature. Okay. What is this green grass? Where did this come from? Nature. Okay. And what about the breeze that we felt on our face? Where did that come from? Nature. Okay. So you see, nature makes us very happy. 
nature makes us feel very very relaxed nature feeds us also right that nature gives us relaxation also right so you see girl miss khan nature is a mother actually did you get it understood and god god okay god is your grandfather all right yes ma'am thank you so much i never realized that my mama was always there with me i'm so happy for you but remember just like a mother take care of us we should also take care of our mother all right yes ma'am i'll take care of my mother and i'll fight with those who will harm her but in my own way okay that's more like it but remember promise me muskan that you'll never frown okay and you'll always live up to your name muskan i promise you ma'am okay okay now let's go it's getting late also right okay now let's go she had promised she kept it inspiring and motivating others too to take care of our mother earth and also making people conscious about the proper sanitation habit <laughs> <laughs>